Hi, I'm Lessa Logan. I'm here at my Pilates studio in Los Angeles. I hope you come visit me one day. I'm back with another collaboration with Andrea made of Pilates, and today we're taking on the Struggle is Real, Mewing Sidekicks, aka Sidekicks Mewing. I love these. I also hate them. They are absolutely a struggle for me. Um, typically, you get into them from leg pull front or leg pull down. I can never remember the names, but I'll show you the transition. I'm going to also show you a prep that I do, and then we're also going to discuss exercises you could do around the studio to make this less of a struggle for you, aka the homework I should be doing. Okay, so if we're coming in to it, you'll be doing this exercise here, right? And you do your last kick, and then you slide your knee under, you turn your hand up, and it should be hand in line with knee, hip, over knee, hand behind head, leg up, right? So you would be, boom, here with this leg up <laughs> and yourself in one long line. Okay, easier said than back. So here's a prep that I used to do just to help strengthen my side body because you're literally almost in a side plank on one leg. So you really need to have the ability to come in and out of position with control to actually do the exercise. So take your arms out to the side, and you're going to tip over and land in the exercise, and then come back up and tip over and land. Notice that there's a difference between landing softly and dropping down, right? I'm not trying to drop or fling myself up. I'm literally trying to levitate in this position so that I'm using my outer hips and my side body strength to end up in the exercise. Now, once you're here, there are several variations of, of this. You have the forward, back, you have the circles in both directions, and then you have bicycle, which in my mind, this is going really well. <laughs> right, you do both directions, oh, right? So you would do that on both sides, three to five of each one. That's not always available to me, depending on what's going on especially my body, even when I do this every single day, it's just very hard. But here's what I did do for about a month, every single time I got to this exercise, I mean, I did every day. I would get here, and I could do the front back pretty good, and I could do small circles. In my mind, they were huge. When I got to bicycle, it just wasn't going anywhere. So I would just think, reach the leg back, bend the knee, reach the knee forward, straighten the leg, reach the leg back. Bend the knee, reach the knee forward, straighten the leg. Reach leg back, bend the knee, reach leg forward, straighten the leg. Reverse, and I would tell my body the choreography while I held it up here, so that I would learn the endurance strength that I would need in both hips to hold me up. Because here's the thing about kneeling side kicks, side kicks kneeling, is the standing leg is where you get all your strength and stability. It's not from the top leg, it's not the moving leg, it's this one. So I would definitely do that to make this exercise a little more possible. Now, what are some other things you could do? Aside from the obvious sidekicks on the mat or sidekicks on the Cadillac, I highly recommend that you also go on to your wooden chair or your high chair and do your press downs cross over. You need to stretch and strengthen this. Then I would do the cross downs side, the cross downs, the press down side, right, on the wooden chair or the high chair, because you want that stretch and that strength from the inner thighs. You definitely need your midline here to actually support that leg. I promise the muscle space and gravity do help in this exercise. I would do your side sit-ups on the ladder barrel. You want strength here. I would also practice your side plank on the reformer. You could just hold it. Even your long jump on the reformer, finding strength where your arm connects to your body. If you have push-up handles, like pressing and holding, that's going to be really helpful for you. Get on your Cadillac and do your side bend mermaid thing, right? On your wooden chair, seated mermaid is going to be really helpful because, again, we're trying to strengthen the body and work the coordination of the body. Then I would do your standing leg springs on the Cadillac. That's going to be really essential. And then just keep coming back to this and giving it a go. Every bit of the math that leads to this is going to actually open the hips up and strengthen the body to make this happen. So you really want to open up the front of the hips and strengthen the back of the hips, right? I know this exercise is imperative, especially the life we lead. We do everything in these days sitting down or front body motivated. 
you got to really work the strength of your hips if you want to stay away from injury and if you really want to be doing anything in life that's going to help you with your balance. I definitely hope you check out Andrea Meda's video on this because we have different bodies and I'm sure she has other exercise tips that will, give this to, uh, that will help you out with this um, just based on the way that we interpret the work in our own body. I love doing these collaborations with her. Thank you for your requests and your comments. Please keep them coming and we will continue to put up more videos for you. For more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to both of our channels and I will see you next time.